was also championship night at Knoxville Raceway. And we have a couple of guests joining us in studio right now as we do have the champion from the 410 division, uh, Austin McCarl, along with his brother who won something else too. Uh, Carson won the Rookie of the Year honors over at Knoxville Raceway for 2018. First of all, congratulations, champion. How are you doing, man? Uh, thanks. It's been, uh, it's been a heck of a year, and it was a great way to end uh being the champion is something I've, I've dreamt about my whole life, my dad being a champion, and uh, it was just a dream come true season, so uh, it's been a special year. If folks remember, we uh, brought Austin on when he won his first race. You haven't won a race at Knoxville Raceway until this season. You won yep. your first one, you came on, and you just had a feeling. You said that it looks like the uh, everything was lining up correctly. The planets were lining up, weren't they? Yeah, just the second year with Troy, Troy Renfro and uh, the TKS Motorsports team, it was just kind of a... Uh, a year under our belt, gentlemen, getting that first one out of the way, right out of the gate, coming here, talking to you <laughs> early in the year, so <laughs> that was good, but a great way to start and end the year. We uh, we had a fast race car all year, and it's uh, it's been really fun to drive. And how about Carson over here, man? Uh, <laughs> now, you were Rookie of the Year mm -hmm. uh, in the 305s, then you were Rookie of the Year in the 360s, now you're Rookie of the Year <laughs> in the 410s. That has never been done before. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, that year of the 305s, I was able to get the championship. And uh, so hopefully I have an opportunity next year to come back and race weekly again in Knoxville and uh, maybe beat this guy. <laughs> no, you don't have to worry just about this guy. You have to worry about your dad, too, because, uh, you know, uh, where did uh, your dad finish? Second in yep. the points over? Mm -hmm. How many points behind what was he? Do you know? Behind me? Yeah. Uh, I know going in, I had a 230. Oh, so you, some you, point you played yeah. his clock. Yeah, as yeah. Soon as, oh, it wasn't even close. Yes. Okay, let's, let's just worry about that. Let's take a look and show people what happened on Saturday night because Saturday night, it was a full moon. Oh, yeah. And man, did it look like a full moon. Take a look at this, folks. This is Knoxville Raceway, and this is what, about 9 o'clock at night now because the lights went out earlier. They had a couple of transformers you guys blow up. What were they telling you guys in the pit area? Uh, nothing. We didn't really know anything. This was a pretty wild deal, and we knew we didn't have power about five or six o'clock and we went out and hot lapped anyway and then we heard a big transformer blow up probably about an hour later and I didn't know if we were going to be able to race or not but uh, they got some people out there and Knoxville did a great job and thanks to all those great fans for sticking it out. I know it took a while and uh, made the night a little bit longer than it normally would be, but uh, I think it was worth it in the end. Yeah, and, and then you guys, uh, you know, you had all this time, we're talking hours without power. Oh, yeah. It was pitch black. It was past 9 o'clock by the time they got power back on, and Carson, you guys said you don't want those fans, and they didn't leave. Fans didn't nope. leave. You went up and you signed autographs, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, the drivers did what we could, you know, to entertain the fans and stuff, and I'm, we're really thankful that they all stuck around, and uh, Mid-America came out, you know, fixed it all for us, and we were a little worried. We weren't going to get to race. I think he was the only one that was going to be fine with the game. Yeah, canceled. Point here, I was canceled. <laughs> you're, you're I was like, fine, yeah. All right, let's take a look. I see what happened in the four tens. We can show everybody this. You guys can uh, walk along with us. Drop of the green flag, uh, and that's Tasker Phillips. Uh, again, uh, he, he does a great job leading from the pole. But uh, inside the uh, second row, a starter. How about Brian and Brown? Brownie is strong this year, wasn't he? He was. He was your main nemesis, wasn't he? Yeah, Brown being the other Casey's car, he uh, he had a bit of misfortune here and uh, uh, broke a U joint drive line issue. But uh, yeah, he's. He's been great all year. He's been definitely probably the guy to beat. Uh, that guy as well, Kerry Madsen. So uh, it's uh, we've been able to beat him a few times this year, and it's great to race with that caliber of teams and drivers. And, and uh, it's uh, it's been a good year. Yeah. So Kerry getting back there and climbs out of there. Just look how calm and collected he is. <laughs> <laughs> good. They call good him day, a madman. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. He doesn't act to be mad there, <laughs> but he's a super nice guy. So congratulations to him. But uh, the ceremony also went on to hand you the big old trophy, huh? Yeah. That was a pretty special feeling right there, being able to to get that cup and. Uh, to finally get it all over with, I wish the season at Knoxville was a little bit longer just so we could race more, but it's, uh, it was a great year overall and uh, had a great night Saturday winning the championship and coming away with a podium finish. So about all you could ask for for the Casey's General Store Midwest Basement car. There you go. There is uh, the results from the other divisions as they ran on Saturday evening on championship night uh, over at Knoxville Raceway. Uh, you get you second place. Uh, that's a pretty strong finish there. You didn't need to even finish second, didn't you? Did you? Uh, no, it was kind of nice to go out for the feature, just kind of relax and just go race, not really thinking about points at all or anything. So. We just went out there and 25 laps nonstop after our first yellow incident, but uh, it was a really fun race and a fun year. I'm, I'm really looking forward to 2019. You already answered to get back in. Yeah, absolutely. Too. All right, let's take a look at the champions that were crowned over at Knoxville. Uh, how about the 305 division here? Uh, Eric, again, this guy was just strong all year long, wasn't he? Yeah, he was impressive all year. I think I, I think he had about 10 or 11 quick times, which is pretty pretty crazy, but yeah, he was pretty dominant in the 305 class all year. He uh, He's good buddies with uh, 
with Troy Renfro, my car owner. So Troy helps him out a little bit. So good to see those guys come away with the championship. All right, Carson, 360 champion. Do you know this guy very well? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Clint, uh, he's the man that beat in the 360s every year, and uh, he did it again this year. So, you know, congrats to Clint, and I'm sure they'll be back next year. All right, and take a look at the 410 champion. This guy looks awful familiar. <laughs> What's the other guy doing in there? Huh? Oh, that's the second place finisher. Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay, that's right. second place finisher over on the left, T-Mac. And then, of course, Austin right smack dab in the middle. Uh, Doug there uh, presenting the trophy. So uh, great job there. That was very cool. I'll take a picture. Uh, take a look at all the three champions from Knoxville on Saturday evening. Uh, again, what a great time that is. And what a great track. What a great management team they have over at Knoxville as well. But let's not forget about one other thing here, folks. One other thing I want to give you a peek at here. How about we show this? How about Carson McCurl? We mentioned it earlier, folks. Uh, he was the he was the rookie of the year in the 305s, the 360s, and the 410s. So uh, great job out of those guys, and great job out of both of you gentlemen for all your accomplishments this year. We just want to make sure that we brought you in to say, uh, you know, well done uh, for 2018. So you plan on doing it again in uh, 2019 there, Carson? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we got about 10 races or so left on the year, so hopefully we can rack up a couple more wins and uh, be back there next year in the 410s. There you go. And awesome. what about yourself? Uh, yeah, really looking forward to 2019. Fit wrap out the year here, a few more shows, and uh, uh, just see what me hopefully we can repeat next year Troy and I so uh, we'll just uh, we'll see you never know no you guys did a great job uh, thank you guys so much for coming in well done gentlemen <laughs> appreciate thank it you. so much there you have it folks uh